Hello, it's Maria from the River Forest Public Library back again with another craft tutorial. This week we're going to be making this photo garland. Beth, the middle school librarian here at River Forest, has something super similar in her office and I thought I would give it a go. Turns out this project is super easy, only requires a few items to complete, and it's a great way to show off your photos. This tutorial is super easy, so let's go ahead and get started. For this project, you will need yarn, a pair of scissors, some pom-poms, mini clips, and photos. One of the reasons why I love this project so much is because it's essentially just assembly. Once you have all the components of the project, all you have to do is figure out how you would like to lay it out and then string it all together. So the first step is to take your yarn and figure out how long you would like your photo garland to be. I'm gonna make mine about wingspan length, cut it off, and set your yarn aside. Once you have your string cut and ready, all you have to do is figure out how you want to arrange your pom-poms and the clips that your photos are going to be arranged on. I have a number of different pom-pom colors here in front of me. I actually made these pom-poms, but you don't have to make them. You can certainly buy them from the store. They have plenty of different sizes and colors available. But of course, if you do want to make your own pom-poms, feel free to go back to our felt box video. That's the video that I taught you how to make pom-poms in. So the second step is just to arrange. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a pattern that I like with the colors that I have. All right, I am pretty happy with the way that that's looking. So now that you have it all laid out, it's time to string it together. If you have one of those thick yarn needles, feel free to use that to make it a little bit easier to string these puppies on. But if you don't, that's okay. It just takes a little bit more patience. So just take your yarn and start stringing it on. All right, so I have strung on all of my pom-poms, and now we are ready to put on these mini clips. I found these mini clips from the Target Dollar section, but you can find these clips pretty much anywhere. Or if you have mini binder clips at home, feel free to use those. So I have four of these clips available for me to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and space out my pom-poms so that I have four spots that I can put these clips on. So I'm gonna slide the pom-poms along, put a clip there, slide the pom-poms over, and so on and so forth. So it's worked out for my garland that I have two pom-poms, a clip, two pom-poms, a clip, two pom-poms, a clip, and then again, two pom-poms and a clip. So now that we have everything in place, I'm gonna go ahead and loop off the ends so that I can hang them on a nail. So basically just make a knot with a loop at the end on each side so that it's ready to be hung up. Here's the second side. Now that everything is complete, the final step is to place your photos on these clips. So just go ahead and pull out your favorite photos and arrange accordingly. And here we go. Here is the final product. I have a few photos of my family as well as a few cards that I have laying around the house, but I really love the way that this turned out and I'm excited to hang this up. The best part about this project is if you don't like one of the photos, you can easily switch it out and replace it with another one. I hope you give this project a try, and if you do, let us know how it goes. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Bye!